Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flight Deck. Today with the third episode of my Solidus CNC project, the Z-Axis. And in the last steps, I started by building the axis frame. Again, the limit switch is mounted on two nails and hold in place with some hot glue. Adding a little bit of glue helps to keep the parts in place while you drill the pilot holes. My linear guide has a length of 30 cm and I will need a length of 28 cm to fit it in here. So I will cut it by 2 cm and drill new holes for screwing it to the plates. Then I built the V carriage, which is built from two splittable units. By the way, you should love drilling holes when you build this machine. These holes at the bottom of the plates are the guides for the screws for your holder of the CNC router. My holder has three 6mm screws here. But there are several other models on the market and you will have to adapt the holes to your needs. These two parts shouldn't be glued together to keep them removable to reach to the mechanics later when you need it. So to assemble these parts here, you will place these two plates together here and so you have the desired height to screw these two side walls to it. You will glue and screw the side walls to it and then you can remove the upper part and keep on uh, assembling this part here. I applied two coats of varnish to all the parts. A 
Again, the installation of all these components is really straightforward. And if you want to know more about this, you can watch my Y-axis video where I explain this all in detail. Because I hadn't enough room to measure an equal distance to the sidewall, I used some scrap pieces of plywood as a spacer. And here are the two finished components. Again, a small piece, full of mechanics and really heavy for its size. The two parts aren't assembled now. I will do this later when I assemble all the other components. This will come in here, like this. And there is one thing I want to mention and this is the holder of the spindle. There are many different holders on the market and it depends on which holder you will use in your machine. But if you use one like me, there is one screw to tighten it here at this side. And it depends on how your machine is situated in your shop. My will be placed at a wall and I will only be able to come to this holder from this side. So I will turn this around to be able to release the screw later easily when I have to unmount my spindle. So that's it for now and if you like what I'm doing then subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me. So I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck.